Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Arya's Story. In the last episode, we discovered the true identity of the narrator and discovered that she had something important that she wanted to tell us, but unfortunately, she kind of vanished before she could say anything. We also reveal that Arya may know something, and it may be related to this photo, which you guys uh, advised me that I should keep, because this game has three endings, and this photo helps you get two of them, so... You know, just expand our options a little bit. And we are in the final area of the one of the library. So let's let's find out what this book has to say. What's this area's name? It doesn't have a name. In this area, you can find many kinds of books. Even if we're all different, we live together in perfect harmony. Huh. There are just many books on the bookshelf. Hey, hey, Arya, can you hear me? Huh? Who? What? Where? Are you also trapped in this place? You, you are. The librarian. <laughs> I'm the librarian that works in your world. What are you doing here? Hmm, I don't know. When I woke up, I was trapped here. I suppose every library needs a librarian. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dear library. I can't be the one who keeps you. I can't leave behind the one I already hold close to my heart. My library is quaint. I may say it's also and I may say it's also ancient as well as far from the reaches of the end of the nearest village. I took it upon myself to care for its plants and adorable rabbits. I suppose that's why it's so special to me. I do my best to ensure that I take great care of it so people like you can enjoy reading books. What do you think? Which library do you like most? Uh... Honestly, other than the killer statues, both <laughs> libraries are pretty ballin'. <laughs> I see. I think both libraries have a kind of charm to them. Because, I mean, seriously, some of the places that we've been in this library are pretty neat when we aren't... When we don't have the shadow of death creeping over us. Well then, I think we're getting close to the end. Don't give up, dear. Eh? <gasps> Wait! I need to talk to you! I can't... I can't follow him. There's like a big gap in the floor. Shit. Anything I can do to get back up there? Hmm. Maybe I have to go back out here? Anything over here? No? Nothing back here either. Hmm. What the hell am I supposed to do then? Unless, oh, duh, there's, there, there's a door over here. <laughs> uh, smart I am not. Okay. Okay, so it just lets us go around. Okay. There's a flower growing on top of this bookshelf, but I don't think I can reach it. Hmm. Yeah, no ladder, no nothing, so... Probably gonna need this. Hello. Do 
you like my flower collection? There's flower for there's a flower for every color of the rainbow. All the colors? You might be missing one. Oh, you found out. All I want to do is complete my collection. Huh? I think I know. I think I may know a flower we can get you. The only problem is is uh getting to it. That's locked. Hmm. So whatever's over here, we can't interact with. So what's down here then? Hello. The heavens are such a beautiful sight to behold, especially the starry heavens. How wonderful it must be to have men to have my own star. How beautiful. Hmm. There's a door over here. And a door over here, but this one's locked. So what's in here then? tree. That's the one we fell asleep under and woke up here, yeah? Yeah. It's the same kind in my world's library. My favorite place to read. Oh. You've got excellent taste. <laughs> Do you remember when we decorated the tree with those stars? We all wrote a wish on each star and placed them there. <laughs> so many people, big or small, traveled to the library to be able to write a wish of their own. How fun it was. <laughs> this is my favorite place to read for sure. I'd like to read under the wishes of everyone in this world. I hope they all come true. What did you write on yours? I wrote... Shush! <gasps> Whoa, you scared me! That's not good for my poor little heart. <clears throat> if you tell me, then your wish won't come true. <laughs> Oops, you're right. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm? He left. Damn teleporting librarians. There's a star on the ground. Hmm. I wonder if we present this to that book in the other room, if we, if we might be able to get them to leave. Or at least just move out of the way. Is this for me? What a beautiful star! Thank you! Yeah! Now let's go save. Will we break a hundred saves before this LP is out? Probably. Okay, let's see. Hello. Do you want this key? You'll have to win the game to get it. Would you like to play? Oh, it's one of these. That's the key. Jokes on you, I'm good at this game. Haha! -ha. The next round will be even harder. What? Next round? Okay, fine. Jokes on you, though. I'm still pretty good at this game. Right, next round will be even harder. Just give me the friggin' key already! Oh boy, there's five of them now. Joke's on you! I'm... Still pretty fucking good at this game. Ah... Uh. I may not be good at talking, but I am very good at watching and listening. When my hearing doesn't decide to shit itself. Okay. 
the spirit key to unlock this. Hello. I can't examine what's on this table. A small bird is resting on the table. Please carry your pigeons. Hello. You're the owl that delivered the letter to me before, aren't you? Eh? Would you like to come with me? The owl joined your party. Ooh. I know what I have to do with this bird. I think I saw those birds move before I left the room. That's not good. Because birds are either friendly or are out for your blood. There is no in-between. Can you get me that green flower on that bookshelf, please? Aw, what a good bird. Thank you very much. Aw, oh, it doesn't even say that the owl's in our party. Let's save one more time, just in case. Yeah, just shows the owl is in our party. Okay. Oh, maybe I just need to put it in here. There we go. A green flower! That's just what I needed! My collection is now complete. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you want to go back to your room? Thank you very much for helping me. Ah, goodbye, bird buddy. Okay, is there anything down here, just in case? Books leave an impression on you. I can't believe I used to hate them. <gasps> you used to hate books? Yep. When I was younger, I despised them. My father was the previous librarian, and I had to help him out. I didn't like being surrounded by books. I thought they were boring. Even then, as per family tradition, I had to become the next librarian. <laughs> now I love books. Can't imagine my life without them. I'm also pretty good at drawing, so my illustrations appear in some books. What made you change your mind? That's a secret. If I tell you, I wouldn't be a mysterious boy. That's not right. You gotta tell me the rest of the story. <laughs> Sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Aria. Do you believe that rules are meant to be followed or broken? Hmm. That's a good question. Because, I mean, let's be real here, rules are typically created so that way people can't get hurt, people can't do things that would hurt other people or themselves, but at the same time, depending on who's making the rules, some people just impose rules just to make other people miserable. So, like, hmm... But more often than not, more often than not, people are just making rules so that, and so that way they can protect other people. So, I'd say rules are meant to be followed. Hmm. I see. That's what you think. I think the exit's near. Our world is waiting for us. Our world? Get back here, you mystery man. I have questions. Here, apparently. Oh no, wait, yeah, we can. Hello. A portrait titled The Librarian. Huh. I thought he was just peeking at me through a window. Hmm. Can't see what he was reading either. Ooh. Spooky. We can't interact with it though. Hello. Hold on. The librarian. The storyteller. 
What's the next one gonna be a portrait of? Yep, there's Lewin, the writer. Would that make Arya the reader? I don't know. Nope, the bookworm. Hmm. A book titled The Meaning of Names. Do you want to read it? Sure. Oh. Well, I know what Dahlia's name means, kind of. It's the name of a flower, but let's check just in case. In the Victorian language of flowers, Dahlia signifies elegance and dignity. Well, Dahlia seemed to carry herself rather well. I believe I already looked at- I believe I already told you guys what, uh, Lewin's name meant in the episode that they talked about it, because I think I looked it up. But just to make sure. Lewin is derived from the name Lofwind, meaning dear friend. So yeah, I was roughly correct. Name meanings are fun to mess around with. Can't help but wonder what the librarian's name is, though. Legends are very interesting. I wonder if they're real. Ah, uh, some are, and most legends are based off of some f are based off of some form of truth. For example, uh, the legend of the Minotaur is probably how the people of Crete, uh, just since they couldn't really describe it at the time, that's probably what they used to explain earthquakes. Because they say that whenever the Minotaur was angry, he would throw a fit in his labyrinth, and that would cause the island of Crete to tremble. Book titled The Legend of the Quill. Once upon a time, there was a quill with the power to create and erase whatever was written with it. Where have we seen this quill before? People wanted to have this powerful object, and so they waged war to have it in their hands. To keep it from falling into the wrong hands, a family took it upon themselves to hide it away and protect it for generations. Since then, the whereabouts and knowledge of the quill have been lost and has been lost to time. Huh. I feel like we've seen that quill before, though. Somewhere in the library. Maybe it's just me, though. And... 100 saves. Let's say you finish reading a book that you really like, but you hate the ending. Huh? What would you do if you could change that ending? Would you change it? Or would you respect what the author has written? Hmm... That's a tough question, cause... I mean... I typically choose to respect the author's decisions if, as long as they're not like, how do I put this, like, morally reprehensible? Like, say if the ending, like, basically, hmm, how do I put this? If the ending was meant to intentionally offend a group of people who have done nothing wrong, then yeah, I might change it, but... Let's let let's take the obvious outlier out of the situation and just hmm. Again, it still kind of depends on the situation. I mean, was the book good up until the ending, where the writing just took a nosedive? Did I just simply not like the outcome of the ending? Because it really depends. Well, hmm. Well. Hmm. Judging off of just what then, uh, just judging off of what the librarian has said, just you hate the ending. I'm not gonna assume that like the writing just was terrible. The ending just maybe we'll just go with would you change it if the ending didn't go the way you wanted it to? Honestly, I wouldn't change it. Yeah, there are some stories I can think of that had an end that didn't exactly leave me with the best ending, and that didn't exactly leave me with the best feeling, but, well, how do I put this? 
it just feels wrong to take this story that you have thoroughly loved and just didn't like the ending and just change it just to satisfy yourself. Not only would you be doing the author a disservice, but really, the only person you would be fooling was yourself. Because even if you change the ending, you still know how the book really ended. You still know what the or what the author's original intent was. So, honestly, no, I wouldn't change it. Hmm. So you say. <laughs> Sorry for asking you weird questions. I promise that's the last I'll ask you. Can I start asking you stuff now? Wait! Yeah, seriously, I want to ask you stuff. I'm confused. Where's Lewin? Oh, books. Oh, wait! Oh, these are some of the books throughout the areas that we've been to. I'm pleased to see you again, miss. Do you remember me? I'm Romeo and Juliet. We met at the beginning of your journey. I'd never forget a book like you. Seems you've reached the end of this library. Let us give you a farewell and a billion thanks for what you've done for us. Please, let us assist you one final time. Huh? I feel as if books and humans should help each other. Yeah. Show me somebody who says that a piece of media hasn't changed them, and I'll show you a liar, honestly. Oh, yeah. They made me one final bridge of books. One hundred and one saves. Dahlia, you're okay! Such... such is the truth. I cannot believe it. Now I understand. Hey friends! It's... It, it, it's... it's... it's me. <laughs> Arya, we've been waiting for you. What? Hey, Lewin. Glad to see you're okay. And you too, Dahlia. Seriously, I thought you, like, died or something. Arya. I thought you disappeared. You were worried for my sake? I hadn't disappeared. I was teleported to this room. But finally, all four of us are reunited. Now we can go back to our world. We just have to open that door. Wait. Hmm? Did something happen? Clyde, please tell me the truth. The truth? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lewin. I've lied to you. I opened the pink door and I found this photo. Which I don't understand because, like, I, I told him that I entered it. Uh, no! Aww. This, fo this photo was taken six years ago, the day when us four became friends. I don't understand how I could forget something as important as this, but now I remember it all. Aww, look at Lewin though. When I went to the library for the first time, I met a young writer and we became friends. We were always together. The writer's name was Lewin. Later on, we met a storyteller whose personality changed every day, but learned that she didn't need to act like anyone else to make friends. Her name was Dahlia. Lastly, we met Clyde, the son of the librarian. There was a boy who hated books, but was taught that they were marvels and was able to become a new librarian. This photo has given me the chance to remember many things. I remember how we all laughed together, how we all played together, how we read together, and I also remember... 
I remember my own death. Oh. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? That can't possibly be true. You must be tired. Let's go back to our world. That's enough! I don't want you to keep hiding the truth from me. Clyde, you shouldn't keep hiding it. I agree with Dahlia. If you don't tell the truth, then I will. <sighs> Clyde! It's all piecing itself together in my head. Do you know what this is? My family has hidden away this quill for generations, keeping it from falling into the wrong hands. It was hidden away in a secret room in the library, behind a bookshelf. The librarian takes on the role of protecting it. This quill has the power to create and erase what is written with it, and so it had to be hidden away. But even then, I decided to break some rules. I used this quill to write you back into existence. <gasps> back into existence? What do you mean? As you know, you died a month ago. We were all heartbroken, and we couldn't believe what happened. I tried to bring you back with this quill, but it didn't work. This only has the power to create and erase. It can't resurrect a real person. Meanwhile, Lewin started writing a book. He barely slept and ate. He became obsessed. And as a result, he forced his hand too much and injured it, which is why he wears that bandage. Dahlia and I became worried about him. We needed to find out what he was writing about. It was a book about you and your adventures in a library. But that's... Yes, this world is based on the book that Lewin wrote, and I made it and I made it a reality using this pen. So I put the three of you in this fake world, and I ga and gave you new memories to forget the harsh truth. Lewin, the original author, was able to remember everything, and so did Dahlia. My goal was to see if you were able to act like the real Arya, so you could replace her. So all four of us could go back to our world. <laughs> I suppose my plan was stupid. I'm sorry. I was so selfish. I'm sorry. Clyde. You don't need to blame yourself, Clyde. You're not selfish at all. You did this for me. I have friends that worry so much and care for me. I couldn't be happier. Arya. But this has to stop. Uh huh? I have her appearance, her personality, her memories, her emotions. But in the end, I'm not Arya. I'm just a copy. I'm not real. A fake. Just like the world we're in right now. I don't have the right to be the replacement of someone else's life. No, no, don't say that. Please. You're real to me. You're my friend. <laughs> Thanks to you all, I found out what friendship was. Thank you for everything. <gasps> Arya, give me back that quill. Don't you dare. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I'm going to erase everything you've created. <gasps> everything? That means you'll... No, don't you even dare do it! <laughs> I'm glad to have met you. Huh? What happened? Don't worry, I brought them back to your world. Why didn't you do the same for me? I 
wanted to say one last thing. Are you going to finish writing your book? You told me you couldn't finish it because you couldn't figure out an ending good enough for you. Now you know how the story ends. No. No. Uh. I can't write this ending! Lewin? Don't you remember that you told me you went- Don't you remember that you told me you wanted me to write a happy ending? But... You died before I could write one. So I can't write a happy ending. You were the first person who wanted to read what I wrote in the first place. The, fir the first person who wanted to confide in me. My first friend. I wanted to write a book about you. In a world where you were happy. I wanted to give you a happy ending that you, that you deserved. I knew from the start that you weren't real. I thought that if I killed you, this would all end. But... An ending where you die can't be a happy ending? Lewin. I see. That's how you really feel. Can I ask you something? Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you determine a happy ending to be? For me, a happy ending is when, despite everything that happened, the characters still smile and keep going. Lewin. Even if it hurts, even if the tears don't stop falling, <laughs> we'll smile and make this ending a happy one. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, we're 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 playing as Lewin now. The other day I read one of your books. I really liked it. You're super talented. <laughs> Morning, Lewin. Shh, be quiet. Oops, sorry. You should speak a lot lower, considering you are the librarian. <sighs> I can't see why the noisiest person in a place like this would be the librarian himself. Just part of my charm. How's your hand feeling? Does it still hurt? No, but it's getting better. How splendid! Soon you'll be able to write books again. Um... The truth is, yesterday I just wrote one. You should have waited until your hand is completely recovered. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I got pretty inspired to finish what I was writing. That book. Was it the one you were writing about Arya? Yeah, I was finally able to write a good ending. No, oh, really? Then I'll draw up an illustration for it. <laughs> and I will take up the responsibility of narrating the characters. What title are you going to give the book? Are we about to get a title drop? The title of the book is... Aria's Story. Roll the credits before I start fucking crying. Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie. The instant the plot twist happened, I was ready for further disappointment, but honestly, I'm really glad that, yeah, they took the dead all along trope and used it, but at the same time, they put an interesting spin on it. Yeah, Arya was dead all along, but the person we were playing as wasn't the real Arya. Other than that, though, just, wow, uh, it's been a while since 
I was able to enjoy a game that doesn't have copious amounts of jump scares, but at the same time was still able to scare me. This game does atmospheric horror, and it's and like pacing really, really well. I'm really glad that you guys suggested that I play this. And just... Wow, it just... <laughs> and also I want to thank you guys for like, sticking around during this LP because, as you guys know, this LP got hit by the LP curse and it happened all... Oh, aww. Aww, that's sweet. Oh. Oh god. No, stop. Fuck. The tears are coming out. Shit. No, stop it. Stop it. True ending get. Oh. But yeah, as you guys know, the LP curse has kind of been in full swing for this for this game. Because I just got back from a fucking nightmare trip of having to repair my laptop and it going horribly wrong. And ever since then, a bunch of other terrible shits that has been happening, and just, it just really fucking feels like life has been kicking me while I'm down over and over and over again. So I want to thank you guys, because just the support that you give me makes it a little bit easier to bear. So with that out of the way, y'all are probably wondering, what's next after, after Arya's story? Uh, well, it's another game that I missed out on as a kid. Another game that people who have played it constantly sing its praises, constantly call it a timeless masterpiece. A, a wonderful RPG by the good people at Square Enix that, surprisingly, doesn't belong to the Final Fantasy line. And, uh... When I asked my boyfriend, like, hey, I was thinking about playing this... For, for my channel, Sh should I do it? He's like, yeah, it's really, really good. And since you've played one of the games before it, uh, I think I think you should play it. And when, when, when the title screen rolls, it'll have some of you saying, well, it's about time. <laughs>